Okay, hi guys, I'm Chip. Don't play with this pen. They can't see. Let me. Yeah, I just it. was whipping up. <laughs> they can't see the pen. Okay, hi guys, I'm Shannon. <laughs> hi, Shannon. <laughs> okay, hi guys, I'm Shannon, and this is my beautiful girlfriend, Kenny. I'm always crying in the intro because we've already done it so many times that I'm laughing, and you only use the last one, so I just look ridiculous. Let me stop crying. So by the title, you can tell this is our first Sincerely Yours video, which are videos reacting and responding to the letters we get from you guys in our P.O. box. There's just a common theme between a lot of letters, so we pick a topic so we can answer a lot of you all at once. So here's our first Sincerely Yours video. We get a lot of questions like, I have a crush on this girl from school. Does that make me gay? Or when I watch movies, I'm always looking at the female. Do I just admire her or do I want to be with her? We can't answer those questions for you. The only person who can really answer them is you. Sorry. That's the end of the video. <laughs> so that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> and even though you're the one with these answers, it's completely okay not to know them yet. It's gonna take time to figure out. I think a big part of the issue is that we live in a society that really pressures people to label themselves, no matter what kind of label that is. So when you have these questions, you feel this anxiety to figure it out right away. And these labels aren't always bad. They can kind of help you like understand who you are and feel included in a group. But then on the other hand, they can make you feel more confused about who you are and less included in a group. When I was in middle school, the only lesbian I ever knew was my gym teacher. So seeing that and questioning my sexuality, like, I was like, well, I can't be gay because I'm not like her. You feel like you have to fit everyone in that group yeah. to be in that group sometimes. Yeah. So what do you do when you find yourself in this crossroads of questioning yourself but not quite ready to put a label on who you are? So there's several things that you can try to do to help yourself understand all these crazy feelings and what's going on. The first thing is just step back and think about it. A lot of times I feel like we give ourselves the best advice, but we're not always great at taking it. If I'm having a rough situation, if I just stop and think or write down my thoughts, I can really work out these problems on my own. I don't really even need anyone else's input because no one knows you like you know you. Think it through and I don't mean five minutes and you're like, yes, okay, I have all the answers. I know exactly what I'm feeling. It'll take time, but you know yourself and you know how you're feeling. Definitely took me a lot of time of like just kind of thinking about those thoughts of like, oh, do I really like this girl? I didn't even let myself think about it at first. Mm -hmm. I was like, nope. Yeah. But I thought, I think if a thought like that crosses your mind, it's so scary and it can be such a big thing that you kind of are like, whoa, not Suppress thinking it. about that. But honestly, one of the best things you can do if you're confused and you want to figure it out to think about it. I know it's scary, but it can be very good. <laughs> Another really helpful tool if you are confused about your sexuality is to go online. Because there's so many videos and stuff on YouTube. There's so many articles online, vlogging, blogging, what the heck, Instagramming, tweeting, like... Crazy stuff's happening in there. You guys have so many more sources today to figure these things out than me and Cammy even have. Sometimes you need other people's input to really understand it or to see other people's experiences. I mean, if you go online, even just watching YouTube videos, you can look up people's experiences and them coming out. Maybe you'll relate to them and be like, oh wow, so much like my story. And that kind of helps you identify with who you are. Or you might be like, yeah, no, I'm not gay. Yeah. <laughs> mm, not, not at all what's happening here. And chances are, if you're watching this video, you're already on a computer or something. So, you know, just get to Got Googling. the resources. <laughs> So another thing you can do if you've already thought about it in yourself and went on the internet or you just want another means of figuring yourself out, you can and should talk to someone. I feel like when it comes to sexuality, we're so afraid to share these feelings when we're not 100% sure what they might be, but you might be surprised that you have someone in your life that it's completely okay to talk to these things about. Not everyone's gonna have this, but a lot of times people are really close to a parent or a sibling or a friend. And if you think about conversations you've had with them, you can probably decipher if they're a good person to discuss these feelings with. You don't have to come out to them, just talk to them about 
the confusion that you've had or you saw someone on TV and you think you might be attracted to them and you're just confused. Like for me, I didn't come out to my sister until I was in college, but even in high school I'd had conversations with her. They were mostly just texts, but just kind of texting <laughs> her. Yeah, very brave. But just texting her and being like, hey, this happened, I'm kind of confused. I don't think I'm gay, but what if I was gay sort of thing? But it was so nice to have at least one person to have those conversations with. Find someone that you can trust 100% that you can open up about, whether it's about your sexuality or God, anything. We all have secrets, we all have confusions, and we all have people in our lives that we love so we can talk to them. Exactly. Okay, so basically our advice is self-evaluate, go online, which you've already done, and talk to someone that you trust. I think it's important to realize that a lot of times if we're asking ourselves these questions, somewhere deep inside of us, we already know the answer you might just not be ready to accept it yet, which is okay too. But if you're watching this video, you're one step closer. You're doing something. <laughs> and if you're watching this video, it doesn't make you gay either, sorry. Asking these questions and being stressed about them doesn't mean that you're definitely gay or definitely not gay, but it means that if you're toying with these so much, you might have that answer deep inside of you if you self-evaluate. <laughs> back to bullet point number one. Just follow our three easy <laughs> steps to know Am I gay or is it a girl crush? <laughs> We're here to help. So I really want you guys to keep in mind that although we don't get to choose who we love and our what our sexual orientation is because we're born loving who we love, we do get to choose the label that defines us because we pick the one that suits us best. That being said, it's completely okay for that label to change. You're gonna have life experiences that make you realize different things. Don't be scared that if you say you're straight today, you're never allowed to say that you're gay tomorrow or a year from now or a hundred years from now or vice versa. Be you, be happy with who you are and never feel like you have to justify who you love and why you love them. Okay guys, we hope <laughs> you liked this video. We're a little stressed about giving advice, especially about these serious things, because we don't want to lead anyone astray or say the wrong thing or anything, but we tried to give you guys some kind of like general guideline if you're a little yeah. bit confused about maybe who you like. At the end of the day, focus on being happy. And whatever it is that makes you happy, do that. Agreed. <laughs> and if you're straight and have some girl crushes, no big deal. It happens. Love you guys! Do you love them? That's why I get them all the kisses. You can have one too. Thank you. You're welcome. My hair in this video is tragic. I'm sorry. It looks wonderful. You're crazy. My eyes are red. Thumbs up if you think Cammy's hair looks great. No. Thumbs down because it's wrong. Thumbs down, thumbs up. Don't thumbs down. Wait, why are you Just kidding. Tell them the thumbs down. <laughs> Don't do that. See you guys at VidCon. Uh, oh, always. Verbs at the end.